good. Hi everybody, we're here in, where are we? Chula Vista, Vans Walk Tour 2012, here with Matt Toka. And he is going to answer a few inappropriate questions for us. Inappropriate? Like how many girls they slept with? Inappropriate or? Is that inappropriate to us? I don't know, is it? How many girls have you slept with? Oh, this is the seventh show? I think so. Seventh day, how are you feeling? I feel well. Yeah. We had two days off, I got to shower, got to do some laundry. Nice. Take a shower twice and then, whoa. It was good. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it, I liked it. Yeah, have your own bathroom in the We did, yeah, we actually had a hotel, so it was, it was nice. Ah, uh, that's nice. Chill out there. Yeah. It was uh, a hotel resort kind of thing. I don't know, Priceline.com, amazing hotels. I like Priceline. That's it's how a good we deal. got our one. Yeah. Except we kind of, I don't know, it wasn't there, I guess. <laughs> Everywhere was booked out, there was some kind of conference going on. Oh no. A whole bunch of IT notes running out. Yeah. Anyway, so um, how many book tours have you been on? This is my very first one. Oh really? So first how are you ever. I feel, I feel great. I think uh, the first day was a little overwhelming because it's just not knowing what to expect, but after that it's been, yeah. it's been smooth sailing. Awesome. And are you I, I'm, I'm from Ohio. I'm not missing home. I actually moved out of Ohio to get away from home. <laughs> I've been living in Los Angeles. Los Angeles I miss, but we're kind of in the area, so, uh, you know, as long as it's this kind of weather, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty happy. I think we're going to Phoenix tomorrow, which is going to be like 110, so be you should be asking me, I guess, tomorrow, <laughs> and I'd probably have a, a, a different answer. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, if you were to give, like, new kids advice for coming on Vans Walk Tour, what would be your sort of thing that you found so far that I think, um, you mean for like kids coming in the audience or just bands? Bands. Bands? I mean, socks, underwear, sunscreen, and staying hydrated. For every beer you drink, like, try to drink at least like two bottles of water to counteract it because it gets really, really hot. It's fair I don't think I even, we went, we left, um, we went to Utah, Denver, and then Vegas. Vegas was so hot, yeah. right? And I swear I didn't pee like since I left Los Angeles, like three days. So I think I think what and I was drinking like a gallon of water a day. So I think water is, is essential. Yeah. Cool. And um. And um. So what would be your top ten essentials to bring to walk to it as a fan? What do you think? As a fan? As, of course, water. I think water, sunscreen, uh, sharpie marker is good just in case. What's that? Sharpie sharpie marker. You know, like oh, sign, the sign and yeah. all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's good. Um, a lot of kids have been giving me condoms, which I find very disturbing. Really? Very disturbing. It's an old age show. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if like Chris Hansen's gonna come out of the corner and be like, aha, like I don't know if I'm being set up. It's just a little, that's a little weird to me. Are they like um, just regular condoms or something? They're regular. I think they'll probably get them at the Trojan tank. Because huh. Trojan's passing them out. Which I guess is appropriate, right? Yeah. But I figure, I thought most kids want to be on 16 and pregnant. So I'm surprised. Maybe that's why they're actually giving them away to me because they don't want the condoms. They want to be on television. <laughs> and they want you to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> so being away on tour, how are you finding it with, um, have you made a heaps of friends with all the bands that you didn't know before? Or? Yeah, I've met a lot of cool people. Yeah. It's been cool. The barbecue really helps that as well. They have a barbecue like every night, every other night. Which cool. is great. Meeting people. And are any of your items here? Um, Man, I got to see the U's. They're fucking awesome, man. Yeah. The U's is fucking great. Falling in reverse. Oh, amazing. Wow. Fucking love those guys, man. Ronnie's the shit. Is he a cool guy? He's a great guy. He's a role model, too, man. He's just, he, he puts out, yeah, overall his message is really, really positive when the kids need that. Yeah. So oh, much respect for that. That's cool. And um, my sister has a question that she has me ask everybody. Okay. If you were to be a dinosaur, what kind of dinosaur would you be? I wouldn't be Tyrannosaurus Rex. I know that because it would be you wouldn't be able to really do anything. Yeah, it would you be could, fun. like what can you do? Push-ups? No. <laughs> you know, it's just not an option. I mean, a, a Brontosaurus would be cool. Huge neck, kind of see what the hell is going on for miles around you, yeah. right? Yeah, that's. Fair. I don't know, but then you, I like to eat meat. You know, so I don't know. You can I'm gonna be a Brontosaurus that eats meat. Okay. That's my pick. That can be done. Yes. And you are big and strong. So Kind of uh, I'm soft. so I'm so ripped, yes. Oh, cheeky, you are. Very, very, very ripped. Have you got your own gym on, on your bus? 
Yeah. No, I don't have my own gym. I have a guy named Jim on my bus. <laughs> so you drink but I haven't gone on him either. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're and so, what else? What's your favorite thing so far? My favorite thing so far? I think just meeting people, man. It's really cool. My first time, uh, I moved out to Los Angeles playing like street corners and shit. So to do Warp Tour, grew up, always wanted to play it. This is like a career milestone for me. It's something I could, I could check off the bucket list. So to be able to do that and actually meet kids that are pretty excited to watch me perform and shit, it's, it's pretty badass. Yeah. Really, really badass. I struggled in LA for a minute, so like, to see things kind of moving along in a positive direction, it's been excellent. So I've just moved to LA as well, and it is a bit of a struggle, you know, getting into everything. So how did you get picked up? You literally I actually, on the corner playing and I, came up to you? It was actually a YouTube cover, believe it or not. YouTube of all things, right? Really? But I was doing open mics and all that shit. I thought LA would be the place to be, because I grew up in Youngstown, Ohio, and, and uh, my family kind of fell apart. I had a record deal before, and there was no reason for me to stay there. Yeah. So I figured I'd rather be homeless on the beach than, you know, worst case scenario than 9 to 5 in Youngstown. Yeah. And I just kind of grinded it out, man. I was uh, spent a lot of time on MySpace when that was somewhat relevant. And I was always kind of just up on social media. And, and I believe that, um, you know, if you're going to get discovered, it would be through social media. But LA, I just wanted to get in a nicer environment. There's obviously yeah. a lot more opportunities in Los Angeles than you know, what the fuck Ohio. Yeah, yeah. And the weather is great. And the weather's amazing. <laughs> the food and the women, everything. Yeah, the food is great. I love all the Mexican food. We don't have many Mexican restaurants in New Zealand. So oh, wow. Ah, it's good. Arizona, where we're, where we're going next, probably the best Mexican food. Really? Yeah, it's really, really good there. Oh, you have to be you know. Yeah. I've only been through there once, but sort of... On the wind. Yeah. I wish I was coming with you guys, though. Come tomorrow, let's do it. We will literally melt. We will melt away to nothing, but it'll be awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for the interview. It was a pleasure. Everybody, Matt. And we'll hopefully see you again, hopefully in Portland or maybe before. But I will be hunting. And say hello. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's hug it out. Awesome. Let's do it. Thank you. Oh, you're very good at giving hugs. I like it.